Don't move, human. You'd probably just fall over if you did. I did hit you pretty hard. Hey, now look what you've done. You've fallen over and hurt yourself even more. I swear. Are all humans this stupid? I clearly said, don't move, you will probably just fall over. Could I be any clearer? Where are you? You're in my home, among my people, in our village. So even if you did manage to slip past me and get through the door, you would have been brought back to me immediately by someone else. Why would you be brought back to me specifically? Oh. Your kind does not know a lot about us, do you? Hmm. Okay, well. I'll start with the need to know things, and once you feel more like you're part of us, part of our people, I'll tell you more. We have the right to claim things we find. If we invoke this right, it is ours by law. What do you mean? It's like... Dibs? I'm, I'm not familiar with this. Dibs. Anyway, I claimed you, so... By law, the rest of the village has to bring you back to me. Your group. Oh, the others who came along with you onto our side of the border. I wouldn't worry about them anymore. They are gone, I guess you could say. I was the last one to join the fight, and I dealt with the big one of your group. Well... Big in human standards, I guess. And I saw you, and I immediately claimed you. Why did I claim you? Because you look nice. Most of our people look for strength and battle prowess in a partner. And not that you don't have those. You definitely do. You gave me a few good scratches with that toothpick of yours. Before I, uh, before I hit you. And a few hours later, uh, here we are. Hey, why are you getting upset? You're the ones that crossed the border onto our land. The border was clearly marked. I even saw one of you destroy one of the border markers. You were only a mile from our village when the scout spotted you. We gave you an honorable death. Your people would have been much crueler. They would have taken us alive put us in chains, starved us, and forced us to die an honorless death. If you try to run, I will hate you again. So, tell me about yourself. Do you come from a, I guess, prominent family? No. Then who are all those people with you if they weren't your personal guards? They were your friends. Hmm. Not very good friends. 
three of them tried to run away. They didn't even try to help you. They just left. Of course, they didn't get very far. They were caught, I guess you could say. But that's, that, none of that matters now. You're among your new family. Among us. You will be one of us, eventually. You will be my partner. They will accept you, and you will accept them. You'll come around to it. I know you will. You will be mine for all of time. Okay, little pup. Just... I'll just tie you up, as I still have work to do. Rest now, and, uh... Why do I call you little pup? <laughs> because you're little. Like a pup. However, you are brave, strong like a wolf. If you were weak and fragile, I would have called you Little Fawn. But you're not weak. You have a certain strength about you. Not just physical, either. You carry yourself proudly. I think that's why I noticed you in the first place. Just by how you carried yourself in battle. You were confident in what you were doing. Well, that little toothpick you were carrying wouldn't have done much to us anyway, besides give us a few scratches. You were confident in the fact that you could beat us. Even though you couldn't. But you were confident in it. And I like that about you. However, if you try to do that again, I might just have to hit you harder next time. Because I love you. You will be mine. And that's final. By all of our laws, you will be mine. Rest now. I will see you when you wake.